Hello, I'm Mick Daniels and I will be voting in the Irish referendum on Thursday this week, that is Thursday the day after tomorrow. I have read the fiscal treaty, what we're voting on on Thursday, I have read it in its entirety on three occasions over the past number of weeks. It's about 14 pages long and I will read it again in its entirety before I finish this video this evening. What I have also read is, is this, this is the, the ESM treaty. The ESM treaty is 64 pages long and again I have read it in its entirety on three separate occasions over the past number of weeks and I will read it again in its entirety this evening before I finish this video. In a nutshell what this treaty does is sets out a whole pile of rules and regulations not exceeding set parameters which would be set up for governments. There are lots of references to the Maastricht Treaty, the Lisbon Treaty and on and on it goes. It's mainly legal speak gobbledygook. You just have to read it again and again to make some sense of it. But here's an important bit. Stressing the importance of the treaty establishing the European Stability Mechanism as an element of the global strategy to strengthen the economic and monetary union. This is heavily weighed in favour of the large countries. If we go to the next page here, we can see subscriptions to the authorised capital stock. And here we can see, for example, the Federal Republic of Germany uh, has like almost 2 million shares. Uh, Ireland, 111,000 shares. Um, again, here the contributions which will be required from, from the different, country, different countries. Ireland here, for example, will need to contribute 11,145 million euros to the ESM. The first 250 million is due in about uh, six weeks time, as far as I know. Now, when you start to read down through the ESM treaty, you start asking yourself, actually, this can't be right. You know, they, they, they couldn't possibly do this. Uh, for example, uh, all members must irrevocably and unconditionally undertake to pay on demand any requests for money within seven days. Now, if you thought that was bad, it actually gets a lot worse. They can change the authorised capital and amend Article 8 accordingly. In other words, if Spain, Italy, even the French banks, for example, need bailing out with billions and possibly even trillions, Ireland and other member states will have to cough up as much money as they ask us for within seven days. Incredibly, the ESM shall have full legal capacity to institute legal proceedings against any country, yet the ESM, its property funding and assets, shall enjoy immunity from any form of judicial process. Incredibly, after all of the banking scandals which have happened worldwide, this new European super bank is now being set up on the basis that they can demand as much money as they like from all members and they are immune from any investigation of any sort. We are being asked to sign a blank cheque and hand it to a new European super bank who will be accountable to nobody and where we will have virtually no say in what happens. The last semblance of Irish sovereignty will disappear if we ratify this agreement. 